Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an Amazon mini book opening. I got this a couple days ago and I managed to not open it until I could film this video so that if that's not self-restraint I don't know what is. So let's get started. Okay. I forget some of them that I've got but... Okay, so, let's say them. Did they get all of them in here? I thought I got five. So the first one is To Kill a, King a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. So I've heard a lot about this one. These ones were really influenced by book talk. So, yeah. So I'll read the synopsis for To Kill a Kingdom. So, Princess Lyra is siren royalty, and the most lethal of them all. With the hearts of 17 princes in her collection, she is revered across the sea, until a twist of fate forces her to kill one of her own. To punish her daughter, the Sea Queen transforms Lyra into one thing sirens loathe most, a human. Robbed of, literally. Every time I read a fantasy book, I'm like, God, humans suck. Um, robbed of her song, Lyra has until the winter solstice to deliver Prince Elian's heart to the Sea Queen or remain a human forever. The ocean is the only place Prince Elian calls home. Even though he is an heir to the most powerful kingdom in the world, hunting sirens is more than an unsavory hobby. It's his calling. When he rescues a drowning woman in the ocean, she's more than what she appears. She promises to help him find the key to destroying all of siren kind for good. But can he trust her? No. <laughs> and just how many deals with it? Elian have to broker to eliminate humankind's greatest enemy. Woo! That sounds really good. The second one is The Bridge Kingdom, which I heard a lot about. I heard the spice levels up there, which I love. And then the second one, The Traitor Queen. So the Bridge Kingdom ones, I'll read the back just for the first book. So, Lara, Lara, I don't know how to say that. Um, has only one thought for her husband on their wedding day. I will bring your kingdom to its knees. A princess trained from trial from childhood, childhood to be a lethal spy, Lara knows that the bridge kingdom represents both legendary evil and legendary promise. The only route through a storm ravaged world, the bridge kingdom controls all trade and travel between lands, allowing its ruler to enrich himself and deprive his enemies, including Lara's homeland. So when she is sent as a bride under the guise of fulfilling a treaty of peace, Laura is prepared to do whatever it takes to fracture the defenses of the impenetrable Bridge Kingdom. But as she infiltrates her new home, a lush paradise surrounded by tempest seas, and comes to know her new husband, Arin, Aaron, Laura begins to question where the true evil resides. Around her, she sees a kingdom fighting for survival, and an Arin, a man fiercely protective of his people. As her mission drives her deeper to deeper understanding of the fight to possess the bridge, Laura finds a simmering attraction between her her and are impos impossible to ignore. Hmm. Then I got Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. It says bonus scene included. That's pretty cool. So this one. Raised to be a warrior. 17 year old. Oh God. These names. Seriously. Eline. El Eline. It's like two E's. I'll put it right here. I don't know how to say this. Um, a line? Oh. Fights alongside her Aska clansmen in an ancient rivalry against the Riki clan. Um, her life is brutal but simple. Fight and survive. Until the day she sees the impossible on the battlefield. Her brother fighting with the enemy. The brother she watched die five years ago. Faced with her brother's betrayal, she must survive the winter in the mountains with the Riki. In a village where every neighbor is an enemy, every battle scar possibly one she delivered. But when the Riki village is raided by a ruthless clan settling in the valley, Eline is even more desperate to get back to her beloved family. She is given no choice but to trust Fisk. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna put this name here too. How do you say these? Um, her brother's friend who sees her as a threat. They must do the impossible, untie the clans to fight together, or risk being slaughtered by one by one. Driven by a love for her clan and her growing love for Fisk, 
Elaine, Elaine must confront her own definition of loyalty and family while daring to put her faith in the pa in the people she spent her life hating. This one sounds good too. I didn't know a lot about this one when I actually didn't know a lot about any of them when I got them. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read those. I think I got another one though. Okay, so I did get one more. Um, it's coming in April. It is the We Hunt the Flame. So that one looks really good as well. And I'm super excited to get that one in the mail. Honestly, getting any book in the mail is just so exciting. It's like Christmas. But anyway, just a mini book haul plus that one, because it'll probably come by the time I post this video. So thank you, Book Talk, for making me broke. I'm already broke anyway. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I post every week, so hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye!